So I have not really seen people using ChatGPT 4.0 as a financial advisor, as a personal financial advisor. But I think, uh, so there's the argument to be made that we can use it. At least uh, I'm using it regularly. So what I'm doing every month is to track my income statement and balance sheet, personal income statement and personal balance sheet. Maybe you know this graphic from Robert Kiyosaki. Here you have uh, at the top you have the income statement at the bottom you have the balance sheet you have a different behavior of say the poor the middle class and the rich the uh the poor basically get their salary from a job so so you here you see you have the job the job creates a salary creates an income then all of the income is spent on taxes rent food transportation clothes and so on and you have you don't have assets you don't have liabilities if you are poor you don't ex you don't get access to liabilities the middle class is often uh, even more problematic why because they have access to debt and to liabilities so you have the income statement you have income salary basically expenses taxes mortgage payment car payment credit card payment school loan payment so you pay the expenses are basically they come from the liabilities on the balance sheet but oftentimes we don't have a lot of assets on the other side maybe we have the home but the home is not an asset as long as it uh, creates negative cash flow right and this is one of the main ideas of robert kiyosaki you can agree or disagree but i think it's a good it's a good practice to at least once per month track your income expenses, asset and liabilities, check all of them and you can use ChatGPT uh, to do it. What the rich do different, they get their income not only from job income or earned income, but also from their assets, right? The assets like real estate, stocks, bonds, notes, intellectual properties, uh, other properties create income and the income can then be used to create more assets right and we have some liabilities as well so our expenses are taxes and mortgage payment but the liabilities often are only for the purpose of creating more assets so for instance we take a mortgage to buy real estate and the real estate is then not owned it's not inhabited by us ourselves by but by um, um by people that pay us rent by renters of our assets and they pay us cash flow so create increasing our income as we increase our income we can increase our capacity to take on more liabilities to build more assets and so on so we basically build the asset side of the balance sheet okay whatever how does it look like in ChatGPT, you can you can uh, simply ask it to give you an excel sheet so here i asked it i want to track my personal income statement and balance sheet can you help me then it gives you the downloadable you can ask it for a downloadable template in excel um, i did this and you get something like this right so an excel sheet here i have filled it with 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 some sample data an excel sheet here check out the bottom uh, so we have you, you have two tabs the income statement and the balance sheet tabs you have the categories here on the uh, on the first column and then each other column is a month right and i would advise or suggest suggest you also do something like this maybe you're already doing it simply tracking your finances here at the top we have the income here we have the expenses so this is the income statement income minus expenses is our net income and this should be positive every sim single month so we only spend what we uh, what we make right and then we have the balance sheet the balance sheet here at the top gives us the assets and at the bottom gives us the liabilities they are negative and if you add them together we get our net worth okay so this simple a very simple uh, spreadsheet or excel file uh, that we can use on a monthly basis to track things and what i did now is to fill in some sample data so let's examine this a bit closer so i um so for instance, say we have a salary of 4K, 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 the salary remains unchanged over the months, but our investment income kind of re reduces a bit going from 200 positive to minus 100. So we have some investment loss here in this month and our income, other income is also kind of uh, volatile, volatile, right? Uh, but more or less it's stable, right? Our uh, income basically remains stable from 4,300 per month to 4,000 per month. But now look at the other uh, expenses i wanted to basically test ChatGPT and show you how you can use it every single month so so create this monthly rout routine where you simply put your spreadsheet into ChatGPT 4 oh and 
ask it to give you tips how to improve and what was different this month. And uh, here you see the rent remains the same, but the utilities went up significantly. So we have now in the, in the September month, we have $300 uh, dollar for utilities while paying 150 only in the other months. Then also see the groceries have actually tripled in September. Also our spending for entertainment and dining out have increased significantly. So that our total income, total expenses in the month of September um, is bigger than our total income. So we have negative net income in this month. And let's see if ChatGPT can figure it out and uh, also see our investments, our investments going from like cash, checking account, savings account, investment, real estate, going um, uh, here in this sample data, I, I reduced it a bit for all those columns. So, so, so that ChatGPT 4.0 can be alarmed, right? I want it to create, say, an alarm and tell us that we should urgently um, improve our financial habits in order to uh, stay on the right side, right, <laughs> of change. And um, uh, the credit card debt I have increased here by mine uh, by a thousand bucks. I have increased credit card de debt. I have slightly reduced car loan and student loan so to simulate that we are paying that off in germany you wouldn't have any student loan right this is just more for american people and mortgage payment uh going for like from 150 so the the also the kind of the liabilities have decreased a, a little bit so it's not so bad but our net worth basically has reduced significantly uh in uh, in this one month Okay, so now we have this this data, this personal financial sheet, and you can then put this sheet, simply drag it into into uh, ChatGPT every single month. First, update it with your own numbers, and then drag it into ChatGPT 4.0 and ask it to help you analyze the financial statement and balance sheet. Where can I improve in the in the month of September? And now it loads the data right correctly it, it, it loads all the data from the income statement and the balance sheet and then it does the analysis uh, and it figures out it's some key observation and recommendations net income for september is negative indicating that you spend more than you earned this is maybe the most important observations the investment income shows negative value we should check this and expenses it focuses specifically on expenses. Groceries are unusual high, three times that. So it actually compares your spending to the previous month's spending and figures out the outlier, figures out the outlier month, uh, which is great. This is like what a financial, like if you had your financial, your personal financial expert, you would you would want them to figure out these things, right? But ChatGPT 4.0 can also do it and in many cases does it better. Review your spending to identify any anomalies or opportunities to cut costs. Entertainment expenses are significantly high. Consider reducing this discretionary spending and dining out expenses are also high. So it basically figured out uh, the mistakes in the month, I should say, the, uh, as constructed. And uh, balance sheet observations, it figured out that the cash reserves have depleted. So we have a liquidity issue. So it has really ChatGPT 4.0 can serve as the early warning system, basically helping us addressing financial problems early. Uh, if we do this on a monthly basis, uh, this can be really a uh, life, uh, life um, keeper, right? It can uh, rescue our financial situation. Um, yeah, net worth has decreased. So track your grocery spending more closely and reduce dining out. Set a budget limit for entertainment, entertainment and adhere to it. I would say, I mean, no financial advisor could give you a better tip, right? Based on this financial spreadsheet. These are the two things that are really important. And then obviously increase income, look for opportunities to increase your income and so on. And you can then iterate with ChatGPT for all to get more insights. For instance, a plot, um my expenses and income over time also plot the net worth over time 
So you can you can also ask it to do these kind of financial visualizations. It also asks us to build cash reserves, manage investments, and so on. Okay, so it, so it basically serves. It can greatly serve as a uh, as a financial advisor. It understands the raw spreadsheet data that you feed into it, and uh, yeah, just use this video as a small uh, reminder that you might want to do something like this, tracking your income statement and balance sheet in order to stay on the right side of change, because in the future, it will be all about the assets, right? Liabilities, if you have assets, compensating the liabilities are not so bad. If you have, like, say, good debt, uh, so you take, take on some debt to create assets, because with inflation, liabilities usually um, um, yeah, will, be, will become more manageable, especially if you have assets. Uh, but the most important thing, in my opinion, is to increase the asset uh, side of your balance sheet. Um, even more than increasing your income, you should focus on increasing the assets because in the future, it will be all about assets and income is, is income then should be mostly constructed from the assets right in the future because you cannot you cannot bet on the future where your income will still be sufficient just coming from your job or say government um, subsidiaries uh, we need to create the income from the machines from the ai so basically more or less directly it should come from the asset part from the capital right capital should give us the income in order for us to stay on the right side of change so this is the i would say the only way to survive uh, financially speaking to survive the disruptive times ahead so we should track our income statement balance sheet on a monthly basis use chat gpt for all to help us um, improve your situation on a monthly basis do this every month and um, your finances are likely to improve and now we have a powerful helper um, on our side um, with ChatGPT 4.0 that is also free um, thanks for watching this video if you like these kind of videos give me a like and subscribe and uh, check out our other videos on the Finkster channel we have a lot of uh, videos about uh, disruptive innovation and investments and so on and yeah I try to load up a video on a daily basis about uh, these topics uh, so again give me a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to uh, remain updated thanks and see you in the next video bye